Sophie George, Sophie George, wait. That's you, isn't it? Are you really Sophie George? Can we get a short interview? Yes, miss, I have a few minutes before my plane leaves. What can I do for you? We've been preparing a story about you and we are stuck on awareness. You make such a big frigging deal out of awareness, you know, in your books. So my question really is this, I mean, where did awareness come from? If awareness was the first thing to exist, how did it come into existence? Awareness theory positions awareness as the first thing, which would probably make it God in religious terms. Assuming the existence of awareness makes it possible to explain everything after that. However, this assumption sets aside the question of the origin of awareness. We can perhaps glimpse something of the origin of awareness by drawing inferences from the earliest content held in awareness. I have accepted the argument that this earliest content had to be numbers. Numbers are pure abstractions that have no existence without awareness to observe them. They can exist only in awareness. And numbers aren't made of something else, whereas everything else is made of numbers. When I write the numeral six on paper, that is not the real six. It is my shared representation of the abstract six. The real six can only be seen in one's awareness as an imagined reality. It has no actual existence outside of its relationship with awareness itself. Yet, it has endless relationships with other numbers, thereby creating complex patterns that ultimately manifest as material reality. It seems no coincidence that physicists use numbers to decode material reality. From this, we can suggest that primordial awareness became aware of plurality, and the subsequent expansion of infinite possibilities finally overwhelmed it and it blew up with a big bang. Bits of awareness hid within every number and each was able to consider itself separately. The consequence of this today is that our minds can see numbers because numbers also have awareness and can resonate with our own prescribed awareness. Without awareness of their own, numbers would have remained in chaos and nothing would have been created. We might also conclude that from the moment of the Big Bang forward, there was no longer a universe consisting of a single entity called awareness because it blew itself into a gazillion pieces, and since then everything has been up to the pieces themselves. God died to give us life, it seems. So we are made of numbers, along with everything else. Based on these suggestions, time existed in awareness before the Big Bang because there was change from emptiness to self-awareness to awareness of both emptiness and oneself which is two things, plurality, and from there the growth of a chaotic sea of numbers and relationships. When empty, unaware even of its own self, awareness potentially existed. When it became self-aware, a quality we all know about from experience, that was a thing, the first thing. It's also the first thing we know because self-awareness is our only direct, first-hand experience. We might infer that awareness originally existed in a state of emptiness as a potential reality, the opposite of a black hole. The mystery is how a mere potential reality could become self-aware. In the void, how did self-awareness manufacture itself? Therefore I can only answer your question by handing it back to you. Sophie George. This has been a pleasant little chat, but you'd better go now because they announced that they are holding the plane for you. That's okay, I am in no hurry. By the way, how did you learn about me? Why you silly silly white man, your books are on Amazon.com.